he just, the dog literally just went over the jump. Don't touch the motor. <laughs> what are you doing? Hello. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, as you can see, I'm back out with Leonard again. He's got his drone. He's just about to set it up on the ramp, I think, because he didn't bring his uh, takeoff board. What I'll be doing today is testing out the Team Corellia Suga with the larger Louise truggy wheels. I did say I didn't want to run these wheels because the suspension is a little bit too short and it doesn't really bottom out to prevent the swing arms and, and everything from, you know, over stress. It should be okay if I don't go too hard with it. Although I do go pretty hard normally and I did bring the ramp today. So who knows what's going to happen guys. Now I still got exactly the same system in here. I've got the Dynamite 160 amp 8S speed control. Uh, running a Yumi power 6,500 milliamp 6 cell battery today. 4082, 1550 kV brushless motor with, I think I'm running an 18 tooth pinion gear. And I'm very glad that I changed the servo over to one of these nine iMod 35 kilogram Metal Gear servos. They are extremely strong, very fast, very reliable. I'm still running the Basher Queen carbon fiber shock tower. Uh, I did super glue it in the last bash and it definitely held up and then yeah obviously the wheels it's the only other thing I changed so let's see what we can do <laughs> oh oh that cut out cut out yeah I heard the fan turn off never done that before it's a 160 amp 8 SP control as well so definitely yeah, so I definitely shouldn't be overloading. No, I think... Oh, I got another cutout. Another cutout. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, guys. It's actually like the speed control's turning off and turning back on. It's very weird. Definitely don't want it cutting out like that during a big jump. It's not these batteries either, they're quite new. The dog literally just went over the jump. Here, chase the car instead. There you go. <laughs> oh, the... The shell keeps hitting, uh, the wheels keep hitting the shell. No bends or nothing, I don't think. Whoa, that was the luckiest front flip I've ever done, I think. Talk about cookie cutters. Jeez, those wheels. Why did that look so cool? Oh, what time I landed? <laughs> 
<laughs> the dog freaked out as soon as the car was turned around. <laughs> oh, and this one loves the dirt. <laughs> Such a smooth car with these wheels. These used to be really good jumps in here. They definitely shrunk over the, over the years. Might be able to get a little backflip off that. The what? Yeah. Oh, no, no backflip. Oh, those wheels may have already come, come unglued, debated. What a wicked car. Oh no, not another roll. There we go. <laughs> oh! Oh, that was a weird crash, that one. Oh! It looks so cool! This sounds so bad! <laughs> oh, no treat. No, missed the treat. Oh, rolled us <laughs> after the third jump. <laughs> There we go. That's either flat battery or overheated. Ooh, ooh, ooh! <laughs> Don't touch the motor. <laughs> that is really hot. I uh, uh, bent one of the M2C standoffs. Do you have spare standoffs? Yeah, I got spares. Spares, yeah. Looks like I may have exploded that front shock. Yep, definitely. There's no oil in there. The 9 iMod servo, as I said, is just insane. It's only 35 kilos, not warm at all, you know, so they are really capable servos and very cheap. Definitely liking these 9 iMod servos. So yeah, guys, I did bring another uh, another battery for this. I will chuck it in, but I'm definitely going to have to let that motor cool down first. I know that shock's no good now, but I may as well keep using it. Guys, I may not get much more footage because I am about to run out uh, of memory on my GoPro. But I am just about to put the stock wheels back on and have a little bit of a drive. So the car's doing excellent. The wheels are really good on this car, but I'm going to have to maybe trugify it. And that'll definitely make it better for, you know, stress throughout the whole, the whole chassis and everything. But it'll also make the car much more stable. So yeah, guys, I'll try and get a bit more footage, but this will be see you later. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. See ya. <laughs> All right, I'll see how much I can get. She'll be right. <laughs> Just <laughs> trying to play with the car, the car's not even moving. Hello! Don't don't land. <laughs> Just trying to get him away from the drone so I can land. <laughs> Follow on the drone. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> He's trying to nip at it. <laughs> In his life. Yeah? And nearly three. Is that a good thing? I'll keep going. I mean, he's not hurting it. Funny to hear him bark. Actually, the, you're not the first person to say, oh wow, that's the first time I've seen my dog do that, you know. It just brings things out, I guess. There you go. Have a, have a run. <laughs> you're right. Now preoccupied. <laughs> dog was definitely just listening on the drone. Yeah. <laughs> you're definitely keen on the drone. <laughs> 